Hello and welcome to vlog number 117. This week, at the request of YouTube user Paul McDonald, I'm going to talk about the effect of temperature on the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a condition that affects the nervous system. Since body temperature is regulated by the nervous system, it's no big surprise that people with PD can be more sensitive to fluctuations in ambient temperature. Extremes of temperature have an effect on people who do not have PD. Cold weather, for example, can cause a loss of manual dexterity, an increase in muscular rigidity, a reduction in physical movement, and tremor or shivering. So a person with PD who already suffers with these symptoms on a good day may well feel an intensification of their symptoms when the ambient temperature is cooler. Cold weather exacerbates many symptoms of PD, making painful cramping and muscular contractions more severe and therefore much more painful. Conversely, when the ambient temperature is warmer, a person with PD may also have difficulty in maintaining a normal body temperature, resulting in hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating for example. The body's core temperature needs to be maintained in a narrow range, regardless of heat produced by the body and environmental conditions. And responsibility for this thermoregulation falls to the hypothalamus and peripheral autonomic nervous system. In PD, a deficiency of dopamine in the hypothalamus may be responsible for the disruption of normal thermoregulation, which can present as an intolerance to hot and cold temperatures. People with PD lose the ability to sweat from the extremities, the hands and feet, and so the body compensates for this by increasing sweating from the rest of the body, and this situation just gets worse as disease progresses. Parkinson's medications can also exacerbate problems. Some can cause hyperhidrosis, and others can prevent sweating and cause body temperature to rise to dangerous levels, particularly during warmer weather. For this reason alone, it is important to consult your doctor if you are affected. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.